Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage. This is their part number 35144K key. This is a key blank. In essence, that's what it is. But it's a bit of a special key blank in a couple of regards, at least according to me. First of all, it's obviously shaped different, and if you're not familiar with this key blank, this is what would be called an access bow, uh, or a key blank that would provide uh, handicap compliance, um, because it allows you a lever action where you can uh, get away from that twisting of the wrist issue that is a problem in ADA compliance, where this can be this can act more as a lever, okay, because you've got that bow there. It also conforms to the California Title 24 for uh, handicap compliance. Um, I'll use this occasionally if, well, in certain instances when you might want to make more of an impression when you cut a key, I might do a job where I do a whole bunch of doors, whatever the case is, but then there's a master or a grandmaster, and I might physically cut masters or grandmasters off the access bow, only so that the building engineer doesn't have to fumble around, he can literally do it in the dark, without, or without even looking at his keys, because that's physically shaped different. Um, there is also a large bow that's available from Schlage as well. It is a uh, trapezoidal shaped uh, head of a key. Back to the access bow, this is a six pin version, which makes it a 35144. You can do this in a five pin version as well, which would be a 35-143. Then you can do this in Primus keyways as well. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're doing a, a Primus restricted key system. Now, this is the K key blank, K. In the hierarchy of older Schlager classic Schlage key systems, you've got seven keyways, C, C, E, 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 F, 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 G, and G. On top of those groups, you're going to have multi-section keys. You'll have H, J, and K. K happens to pass through an F, an F, G, and a G. So the point is, you can buy an access bow in a K keyway and have it pass any of those other cylinders. Why would you need that? Well, you probably wouldn't need it, uh, but you could make an existing key system, whether it's a home or a building, smarter by using a K keyway. Here could be an example. You own you, you own a home. You've got uh, three doors on your house or four. Let's say you got a total of six or eight locks. You're going to make all those an F keyway. Then you have a garage, and the garage you want to have to allow access for the landscaper so they can get in and get whatever needs to be retrieved from the garage. You can make those locks a G keyway. The G keyway can't go into the F, and the F can't go into the G. But you don't care because you're going to carry nothing but K blanks, which can pass everything. But to your landscaper, you will give them only the G blank. Not only would it be cut differently, but it will not even physically enter the cylinder, which is a form of key control. You could take that scenario and break it up into a three-story building, F, F, G, and G, one, two, and three in terms of floors. Well, the building engineer walks around with the K, that same sort of concept. In the classic Schlage system, you can extend that because there are those total of seven key blanks. On top of the H, J, and K that sit on top of those seven, there is then an L section that can pass everything in the system. So you can get an idea where you might have a reasonable sized keying structure where you can make convenient uh, a K sort of keyway, or that at least that concept is the point. But first and foremost, this is an access bow. It's handicap compliant. 6-pin K, which means it will go into the F, F, G, and G. Don't buy this key blank unless you have an F, F, G, or G plug. F, they're all, uh, G I don't see very often. F, G, F and F, G, um, F more common, uh, but they won't go into a C keyway, so do keep that in mind. You'd need an H. You'd need a 35144H to fit into the C keyway, which of course is the most common Schlage classic uh, keyway there is. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up all of the Schlage products we sell, a link to the manufacturer's website, along with a link to a couple of dozen um, encyclopedic type reference documents, whether it be templates or service manuals 
or keying structures explained or a variety of other catalogs and flyers and uh, uh, paperwork of that nature. That's where we stick anything important that pertains globally to all things Schlage we'll place on that page. If you have any questions on the Schlage 35-144K and it's stamped K. There's a, some pictures down below this video where you can see that. Uh, Key blank or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.